sandwich for lunch. It's the little things that make life so grand. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Especially when life is hectic. My name is Anne Marie Colapetro. I really was going to let Jess lead it. I work at Travelers Insurance, and my role is Vice President of Enterprise Distribution Operations. So it's a high level, demanding job. It is. Not a lot of time to do a whole lot of anything else. No, I put in long days, um, but I really love what I do and I love who I work with. And sometimes life gets in the way. Everything's going well, and then suddenly, something happens. Yeah, I was literally walking to the ladies room one day and I felt like my hand flutter. And I thought, well, that's strange. A flutter turned tremor. People were starting to see it and it was making me very self-conscious. I didn't know what I was going through and I couldn't explain it. And so for me, that was seeking help right away. Anne Marie turned to the one place that could help her. Hi, I'm Anne Marie Calafitro the Chase Family Movement Disorder Center. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Where she met neurologist Dr. Michelle Lavallee D'Agostine. Tell me about that first day. She's an incredible person. She is a very proactive person, and she came in and wanted to know what was going on. And unfortunately, you know, the exam was consistent with Parkinson's. Young and in the height of her career. What literally goes through your mind? Terror. Um, I was really, really afraid. I'm young, I'm only 54 years old at the time, so it, it really, really scared me. You're on the journey with them. Yeah, we take it together. A journey that's personal. Anne Marie is like a friend. You, you know, go. I've known her a long time. I've, you know, just a little <laughs> bit. All right. I get to grow with them and we get to take care of everything. And then with your right hand, make a fist and just open and close. That is fantastic. It lets me be the kind of doctor I always dreamed of being. The Chase Family Movement Disorder Center allows you to change the world. It does. One patient at a time. Yeah, I love that they get to be in charge. We work as a team, all of us, every member, from our medical assistants to the social worker, PTOT, we all meet together. The patient's experience is one where, yes, you're, you have Parkinson's, but you still get to maintain some control of your life. You're empowered. It's remarkable how life can change in an instant. Yeah, you know, it's, it's scary. You go from being terrified one minute to being supported and, and loved and cared for the next. She's gonna do great. Her exam is so good. She's doing everything right. A disease remarkably holding steady. I'm basically on the same dose of medication today as I was the first day I went on medication seven years ago. That's incredible. Yeah. It's not easy, it's a struggle, um, but I have the most supportive work family. Anne-Marie's boss, Sean Romalo. Anne-Marie has a support of everyone in the organization. That support network and that community just continues to expand. It continues to expand, but brings you closer. Yes, and uh, together we'll actually get her through this. So you kind of have that feel. Yep. Today, in her spare time, Anne-Marie finds comfort yes, on the yes. dance floor. I think I've only stepped on Vlad's toes a couple of times. I did tell him the hardest part of this journey for me in the dance was going to be letting him lead, because I'm a leader. And so letting him take the lead, not easy. Five, six, seven, eight. For Anne-Marie, when life seemed as though it was spinning out of control, it was the leader in her that kicked in. Together with the team at the Chase Family Movement Disorder Center, they didn't miss a beat. And knowing that I have this tremendous team around me who cares about me physically, mentally, socially, it, it's, it's made this so much easier to bear. Now, dancing through life's challenges with grace, enjoying every step of the way. I have told my story now. It took me seven years to really be out in the open with my story. It's a part of your being, but it's not you. Correct. It's, it's just a part of my life, but it doesn't define me. And your motto is? I won't let it win. If I let it win, it defeats me and I won't let it win.